is my new modification yeah before I use my rocket launcher rod holder for the bracket to mount the water snake motor but now I make this piece using great jig joint you see I had two on this side screw on this side and two on this side this thing is rock solid you guys and yeah also make my do it by yourself pull uh, lifting wheel there and I didn't like the first uh, mount because I losing this arm controller and I can't use my outrigger now I can use my outrigger and should be fine let me put the motor on for you guys to see and gonna try out tomorrow all right you guys SAE waterproof connector here and I'm gonna put it on my outrigger bar here and put some tie up here and just hold it in place that's gonna work out fine let me see yeah my new setup fully functioned you guys yeah i'm gonna use my truck today i mean tomorrow i'm getting old too tired to pick up the kayak even though the truck takes a lot of gas but uh i don't want to hurt my back or my body so yeah you guys i'm gonna like this setup and with the motor i can go further and less tired okay you guys if you like this setup you have any question all of these are diy you guys so i do it myself and yeah get all my stuff ready to go and yep i'll be fishing tomorrow okay you guys if you like this give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to like share and subscribe all right see you on the water you guys what a place this place is so beautiful i guess that's why they're on the the beautiful and rich and famous people live here huh Ah, not ordinary people like me and my friend Vic there, the ordinary outdoorsman. Ah, me and my friend, we're trying to discover a new area. Yeah, this place is fantastic. Only if I have a million dollars. Can you afford it? A million dollars? No, I don't think so. Not this place, man. It's beautiful. Gonna go to the lighthouse there. Waiting for my friend Vic. What take him so long to get set up? I don't wanna turn on my motor yet. <laughs> Alright, you guys. See, see the view of the beautiful house at the edge of the water, you guys. <clears throat> I saw one boat over there. 
check the house. I did hit something. I'm gonna hit my motor. Oh man, there was one foot. I don't know what was that. Okay. Yeah, testing out my new modification for my water snake. So, it feel like it leaned to one side now. Uh, maybe I trying to put my weight on this side. <coughs> Okay, you guys. Overcast. Love overcast. Hope I produce it. In and out quick. In and out quick, maybe before they give us a ticket. <laughs> Hopefully, the rich people don't give us the ticket. All the richest people. All the richest people in the world. Give me a break, man. Trying to film something amazing. Here for my viewer. Alright. I turn back on when the fish action starts, you guys. Over there is a lighthouse. This is the famous lighthouse, Cleveland Ledge. Well, I can tell you that. But ain't no way you can find a place to launch closer. You know, and you need motor to get over here. And you see the boat hang around near the lighthouse here. Right now it's low tide. Took me all the way over there like more than 40 minutes. I keep stopping along the way. And then I got some tap. Probably she got hitting the paddle tail. Anyway, I don't think my friend at the uh, Mong Park, they have better luck than me over here. I thought the fish move out of there. Obviously, they're not moving out yet. I'm at 28 feet deep. So, yep, trying to discover a new place at my usual place, usual spot. I'm probably catching fish right now. Out here, I don't know where I am. Yeah, hope I don't get skunked. Two rods. Two rods better than one. Let's see if I can get some chickens. Well, you guys can't beat my old place. <laughs> no action. Small, small sea bass. Not even chickens. That's what happens when you go to a new place. You not know where they are yet. But this is a famous landmark right here. Uh, place I guess not the right time I guess the fish not move over here yet maybe my friend close to the canal say they had a lot of stripe over there they caught some sea bass over there and chick up over here I don't even see scouts so stick to where you know or what anyway you guys let me try to find a little deeper water. This is like 26 feet deep. Hope I don't get scared. All right. This is Cleveland Lodge, you guy. Nobody tell me this place. I found it myself. So I tell you guys. So they can't be mad at me, right? Okay. I got them before, but they are small. Mr. Totog. Mr. Totog. It's about 15. 
it's Cleveland Lodge. Oh yeah, you guys. I'm gonna show you my new bum board. DIY, man. I got my new bum board. Vic! <laughs> Toe talk. See this, my new bum board. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My new bump board. Yep, exactly. 15. <laughs> I said it too. They've been biting it. On my homemade jig, yeah. Calm down, I let you go. Catch and release. My new bomb board, you guys. 27, almost 27 inches. I make a new bomb board. I'm thrifting. The action just stopped. This is some good bite. Take a look at that lighthouse. Me and my friend, the only two kayak here. A beautiful day. Uh, the guy on the boat say last week he was killing over here. He said maybe the water warm up or whatever. So just my luck. I came and it's nothing. So at least I get to see the lighthouse. I don't think I ever gonna get back over here again because no place you can launch. Some place that you can launch probably very far for a small motor. Okay you guys. One to talk, a bunch of small sea bass, not even chick up. Try plastic, try crab, try squids, nothing. I'm gonna try to find a 40 feet deep water. My friend Rick's anchor. Alright. I save my battery for the action. I'm looking for. <laughs> it's small sea bass. Uh, they let go. Female. Oh man. I thought it was a big one. Alright, you guys. Well, at least I get to test out my new moto. I remodded the modification I mean the last time I mounted on my rocket launcher but now I use the cray jig to make the wood piece there stay on my uh, H-rail and at first it was lean to one side I put the battery kind of centered but now I move the battery close to this side even my owl rigger is balanced now. I'm, I'm, it really straight now. I guess I solved that problem. It not leading to one side now. 
they keep saying because uh, when you mount your motor on the side, it will lean to the side. But I think I just solved that problem. I put my like maybe 15 pound battery, 15 pounds battery there on this side a little bit. The motor this side. It balanced it out, you guys. So, yeah. I want to build a kill switch. I don't know if I can do that or not. Gotta keep watching more YouTube. So, all right, you guys. I like this setup so because I can use my two arm rocket launcher here and it doesn't interfere with my my outrigger with the motor because when I lock I put on my rocket launcher here I couldn't even uh, put the outrigger so now now it's all good I like this setup maybe I paint that wood piece later yeah. uh, it's just a little pain in the butt trying to take in that out but if I load on the truck, uh, we just went by, uh, uh, no need to take it off. Alright you guys. Uh, it's been a nice day. It was overcast this morning. Turned out to be a nice day. A nice day I always don't catch fish. And this is the famous place too. I don't catch a goodbye Cleveland ledge. I don't think I ever come back here again. again. All right. Well, at least I get to test out my new modification uh, motor mount. So I, I like it. And yeah. So thank you guys. Thank you, you guys, for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My friend Vic, he got three sea bass. He anchor. I forgot my anchor. I roaming around, go where the boats are. Still didn't catch anything. So I'm heading back to shore, using my moto, relax, and go back there. See some spot interesting. Drop some line down there and hope for the better. I guess I get skunk. I get skunk. You gotta get skunk sometime.
by pedaling it and I get up to 4.2 or something like that. It's just the motor go by itself. It's like 3.5, 6 or 7 with calm and the wind push you. Yeah, but right now a little choppy and I try to keep the motor straight and turn a little bit. Even you tie it real tight, it still kind of turn. That's why right now I'm trying to hold on to the, the stick here to keep it straight. So I'm not coming back here again, you guys. This is the famous Cleveland Ledge. The guy on the boat came. He was killing them like a week ago. But now it's nothing here. It's just my bad luck. I didn't get any fish to take home. I got stuck. Well, you guys, if you watch to the end oh, already, you know, you'll probably learn something. Don't, don't make a mistake or don't take a risky chance. Don't go alone. Always, always wear your PMP, have the radio. You can call for help, stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, you guys. I, I do learn a lot from other people and by watching YouTube and stuff like that. I love doing this, you know, so I have to keep my mental sharpness and I have to be aware to the condition. Always have your flag. The flag has to be a So, enough saying and yeah, I'm almost back to the launch. And yeah. Let the fish him out of day. Thank you, you guys, very much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on the water. Pipeline.